So my talk was what is happening is that we have a transformer that was initially overloaded. As you can see, it is in the town center and a lot of connection is done to it. And now it has to be replaced and another one fixed. Already that vehicle, as you can see there, has a transformer inside. And therefore that transformer will definitely be serving. What I'm told is that that transformer, actually the fuses had to blow because of the short circuit that was inside the transformer. And that is why the engineers from Kenya Power are replacing it so that we can have a working transformer. So that is what is happening currently here in Pika Town, as you can see. And that particular here is taking it down. The engineers have already made sure that it is very safe and they are getting rid of it so that they can have another one uh, replaced already. So you can see it is already being lifted and uh, carefully as this is in the town. So the transformer is being lowered to the vehicle safely, as you can see. There we have it. So the other transformer is being hooked so that it can be placed on the hedge pole, as you can see. We have two technicians already on the hedge pole waiting so that uh, they can place it well on the hedge pole mounting right there. Right. So as this other transformer which is working was placed on the hedge pole right there, I had the opportunity, a rare one indeed, to ask a lot of questions from the engineers that were on site. And they guided me and took me to test the transformer that was problematic. Now using an insulation tester, we tested the windings between the HT or high tension connections, the low voltage connections, as well as the low voltage and the high tension connections. This insulation test is definitely testing the windings insulation inside the transformer and the readings definitely don't lie. Now, what we started by doing is to test the HT and LV insulation. Now, let's take a look at a different transformer. We have the high tension lines represented by the three colors, which definitely means the red face, the yellow face, and the blue face. This will go straight to the primary windings of the transformer, and we also have the LV section, which form part of the secondary windings. On the LV, we have the three faces and then we have the neutral. Now, my good engineer on the insulation test tells me that you need to wait for 30 seconds after you have clipped those clips there and then you give it time. Then after the 30 seconds, you'll be able to determine the readings. Now, we recorded the readings between the LV, low voltage, and the transformer's body. If you like it, the LV and earth connection. So it is greater than 41.99. That indicates that indeed there is no short circuit. Right. Now the next test is between the faces on the HT, meaning testing the red face, the yellow face, and the blue face, or testing between the yellow face and the red face right there. That indicates 0 0.022. That is correct. Given that this transformer is a star delta type, then it means that the connection inside or the windings inside should give those readings. In other terms, we would say it should give a short circuit. So that's the HT when we go to the LV or the low voltage terminations. Between the paces, we get a short circuit as well, meaning that uh, windings on the secondary are very much okay, you no, know, because it is a, a short circuit right there, so it has to be like that. That is uh, according to my engineer that is guiding me. So, definitely, we have a conclusion that indeed on the secondary windings things are okay. Now we had to do a recording of what we were actually measuring and the big problem is here. Between 
the LV and the HT we expect greater than 41.99 but we have 7.09 right there so there's a big issue so we recorded between the high tension faces and all the LV faces and there was a big issue as you can see six point is very very little comparing to what we expect as greater than 41.99 as you can see there on that face as well as with the lv is an issue and then finally to that face there with the lv you see that it still is a big problem what do i mean the windings are short circuiting with each other the lv and the ht my top boss this is the instrument that helped us to identify the problem if you know it let me know in the comment section these ht fuses blew up due to that short circuit inside the transformer Now the working transformer was placed in order and the fuses reconnected back to switch on the circuit to the transformer. Now before the low voltage fuses were reconnected back, the engineers from Kenya Power had to test the output voltages and record them. Phase to phase has to be 415 and phase to neutral has to be 240. After that, they reconnected the customers back by simply reconnecting those fuses, the low voltage fuses. And that is a great job by Kenya Power. They were also able to test the current through each and every phase or the load of each phase so that they could probably determine the load balancing. So as you can see, the streets are well lit courtesy of Kenya Power's work that they have done on that transformer. Indeed, Kenya Power delivers. Congratulations on such an excellent job.